Now, mutually exclusive events are quite simple. They're just events that don't have any overlap or intersection. So when we draw them on a Venn diagram, there is no intersection. They're literally sitting apart. So a good example would be any time we ask a question that has a simple yes, no answer, not a maybe or a sometimes or a both, anything is just yes or no, we can see that the events don't have any overlap. And in fact, we call these disjoint sets because they're sitting apart from each other. And that's how I remember that they are mutually, that means both or together, exclusive, which means excluding. They're saying, I'm staying away from you. Yeah, I'm also staying away from you. They're not near each other. Now, another good example would be the event of tossing a head or the event of tossing a tail when I run the experiment flipping a coin. So they're mutually exclusive because I can't get heads and tails. It's going to be one or the other. Now, one of the only things that can get confusing with these words when you see them in a maths question is that people often mistake them as being the same thing as independent events, and they're not the same thing. Mutually exclusive events are things are events where you really can't get both. You have to have one thing or the other. So we tend to refer to these when we're thinking of different outcomes of the same experiment. Whereas independent events are events that are completely independent of each other, meaning the probability of one won't affect the probability of the other. And we more often use this terminology when we're actually dealing with two slightly separate experiments that are independent of each other. For example, if I flip a coin and I toss a die at the same time, the outcome of the coin, whether I get heads or tails, is really not affected by what number shows up on the die and vice versa. So you'd say that they are independent events. Now you probably wouldn't put the outcomes of that sort of experiment, tossing a die and flipping a coin at the same time, you wouldn't list those in a Venn diagram because the crossover and, and the sets doesn't really make sense. You're more likely to draw a tree diagram for that and say I could get heads or tails and then there's six things on the die that I could get and another six things down here and there's 12 outcomes. That's how you're more likely to, to draw that experiment up. So remember mutually exclusive events as the type that you can draw a Venn diagram and the sets are disjoint sets, meaning they just have no overlap.